Hi, Gardner Nicole with the Sylvia Center, and we're coming to you again from inside the coop. Our chickens have received another piece of chicken mail, and we can't wait to find out who it's from. I know, look at that beautiful drawing. <laughs> Oh, it's wonderful, it's from Nick, and Nick writes, Dear chickens, I wish I could have you as a pet, but you would probably get eaten by us or my three dogs. I once had to take care of chicks. They were so cute, but the dogs almost ate one. They were my class pet in first grade. Just a reminder, I love chickens, all kinds. From Nick. P.S. You may end up in someone's KFC $20 fill-up. And then he also has drawn us a wonderful comic that says, Hi, what's your name? My name is Bond, James Bond. Well, my name is Ken, Chicken. Wow. Well, that's my name. And then he also sends along the classic joke. Hey you, why did the chicken cross the road? to find his love. Thank you, Nick, so much for sending along your letter. It brightened my day, and I think it brightened the day of the chickens as well. You do mention something, though, that I would love to talk about, and that's that you love chickens. I love chickens, too. But what most people don't know is that there are chickens that are raised specifically for meat, so the ones that we eat, and then there are chickens that are raised specifically for laying eggs. There's not really one chicken that's really great at doing both. So the chickens that are raised for meat, they will lay fewer eggs than the chickens that are raised for eggs. And so the chickens we have here at the Sylvia Center are chickens that are bred to lay eggs. And we get to enjoy so many eggs in our recipes. They're absolutely delicious. I also thought because of Mother's Day, we would read a book that my mom read to me and that is The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. I know, you like caterpillars. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf and after he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. The end. <laughs>